guys in today's video i'll be showing you what i used to regrow my thinning edges my hairline so the first ingredient i used was clove boards these are dried clove boards clove promotes hair growth and it reduces hair fall it helps solve the problem of hair thinning it keeps the scalp fresh and reduces scalp infection clove contains a compound known as eugenol which stops alopecia and promotes hair growth The next ingredient I'll be using for this remedy is dried rosemary. If you have fresh rosemary, you can use it. But for this remedy, I'd prefer that you use dried rosemary. Rosemary has been used many times to promote hair growth because it has anti-inflammatory properties. It prevents hair loss, alopecia, and encourages hair growth. The next ingredient I'll be using now is my black seeds or black cumin seeds or kolonji seeds. The kolonji seeds have been used many years ago to promote hair growth because of its high concentration of thymoquinone it prevents hair loss alopecia and if you suffer hair thinning using the black seeds or the black colonji can help restore your hair and prevent hair thinning so these are the three natural ingredients i'll be using to produce my hair growth oil or my hairline oil because i focus this oil on my um hairline so i use it to encourage growth and stop hair fall on that area the next thing i'm going to do now is to get a blender you need to blend the seeds even if it's not into fine powder but let the seeds be crushed okay so i'm transferring all the seeds the rosemary the black cumin and my clove buds into this blender The next thing you need to do is to add any carrier oil of your choice. I'm using coconut oil because my hair loves coconut oil, but my skin doesn't love coconut oil. My hair do love coconut oil, so I'm using coconut oil as my carrier oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, or almond oil, but I chose coconut oil. So I'm pouring in a good amount of the coconut oil into the blender. I'm going to cover this up and blend it. Like I said, I'm not trying to crush the seeds into powder. I'm just trying to crack them up because this oil is going to be used to infuse them for about two weeks, okay? So it's just to crush the seeds a bit so that it can infuse properly. Now give this a good shake and blend it now this is what we have after we finish blending so now i'm going to transfer my oil into a jar i always prefer a glass jar so when you're making an oil infusion please use a glass jar it helps speed up the process okay so i'm going to give this one good stir because i said earlier that i'm not trying to crush the seeds into powder so i still have some of the seeds in their whole form but a good number of them were crushed into slightly powdery um, form so now i'm transferring into this glass mason jar and i'm going to cover and let it infuse for 14 days it is important for you to infuse this if you don't like this method if you don't like the long 14 days method you can do the double boiling method where you get your oil in less than 30 minutes but I always prefer this because most times when you use the heat method you tend to destroy the components and the effectiveness of the ingredients okay some of the compounds in this seeds 
are heat intolerance and when you use the heat to extract them you destroy them so i prefer that you keep this for 14 days and let it infuse store it in a dark corner for proper infusion and bring it out every two to three days and give it a good shake and return it back to the dark corner and in 14 days all you need to do is to strain the oil and discard the chaff if you want but if you don't want you can add more oils to it and keep infusing the oil this oil never goes bad that is why i really love this so at the end of 14 days strain your oil and this is how you should use it apply it to your hairline or any area you experience hair for okay apply it on the scalp of your head this oil is going to stimulate hair growth and in less than two weeks you should be seeing new growth on the thinned out area okay this oil works well if you struggle with bald edges hair loss alopecia hair thinning apply this oil on your hair you can as well coat the whole shaft of your hair with this oil it is so good for your hair and you should see good results in no long time So my loves, we've gotten to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to try out this oil. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.